Watch you guys got another video your pc has a bottleneck you'll probably hear this terminology quite a lot in the computer industry a computer bottleneck is a term used to describe a performance discrepancy in your computer parts like your cpu your gpu your ram and your vram today we're going to be concentrating on your cpu and your gpu graphics card now you'll probably hear me quite a lot uh, say when I'm building computers try to uh, put parts together that are evenly balanced that way you're not going to get a bottleneck what is a bottleneck well basically if you have say for instance a high-end CPU and a low-end GPU your GPU is going to be bottlenecked if you had a high-end GPU and a low-end CPU your CPU will be the bottleneck, which means it's going to cause a lot of problems in performance. So let's break this down into a simple way to show you exactly what a bottleneck is and how it can cause problems uh, with gaming and other things that you're doing with your computer. So here we have a typical website where you can order computer components here in the UK. And it doesn't really matter whether the uh, components are old or new you will still receive bottlenecks in your CPU and GPU uh, if you choose the wrong parts to put together. So let's go ahead and put a PC together here by choosing this i7-14700F Raptor Lake. And uh, we'll have a look at this one right here with a GPU. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a lower end GPU here to match with this i7-14700F and I will also put a monitor in the equation because that is also another thing that causes a problem for a lot of people when they're specking out PCs. So let's go ahead and get a GPU and we'll just choose a 1030 here. This is a GT 1030, which is a pretty low end GPU. Now, some people might not need a high end GPU because they don't play games and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if you're using something like a GT 1030 with an i7 uh, CPU and also you're going for a higher end monitor, let's just say you find a cheap 4K monitor deal, which I've seen a lot of people do. And what will happen is you would have your CPU, which is significantly more powerful than your GPU. And this means that you're going to end up with a GPU bottleneck. The GPU can't render the game fast enough to match the speed, which is your CPU processor data, which is floating around your system. And this will cause uh, lower frame rates in games and also maybe some visual artifacting on the screen. This could be tearing and things like that, especially if you've got a higher end monitor. And this is a common problem I see with a lot of people. So if you are looking to... Uh, buy say a higher end CPU and a lower end GPU because you haven't got a lot of money and you've got a 4k monitor lying around like this one here we'll just choose this one here which is a, a 28 inch 4k ultra HD 144 hertz 1 millisecond IPS panel the resolution is 3840 by 2160 uh, screen resolution which is quite a high screen resolution for that GPU to handle with that CPU now you will get display and it will work perfectly fine under normal circumstances but once you start taxing the GPU quite a bit it's going to cause quite a few problems so now we've got our parts selected here we have our CPU our GPU and our monitor selected we can check this quickly with PC builds now this is not 100% accurate but it will just help me show you exactly what a bottleneck is and by how much percent. Now, this is not rocket science. This is just giving you an idea of what a bottleneck is and what it will cause to your system. All you need to do with these particular sites is put in your CPU that you're looking to buy and put in your graphics card that you have or you're looking to buy and then also put in your screen resolution, which you have available to you and it will tell you whether the system is going to be bottlenecked and it will tell you whether the bottleneck is going to be with your processor or whether it's with your gpu and if you do select parts like these you can end up with having this jerky type feeling when you're playing games or using the gpu quite heavily and this is due to the fact that the 
the GPU is very underpowered. And you can see we have a 70.6% bottleneck. Now take the 70.6% figure with a bit of pinch of salt, but we do know that it is bottleneck in the system. And we can see right here, the GeForce GT 1030 is too weak for the Intel Core i7 14700F. On a 3440 by 1440 pixels screen resolution, for general tasks. So we know that that is gonna cause quite a bottleneck in our system. So you would need to replace the GPU with something a little bit more powerful than a GT 1030. The percentage part doesn't really matter so much. It's the fact that we know we're gonna have a bottleneck because the GPU is just too underpowered for the parts that we're using. So let's change the GPU to say a 1050 Ti, which is something a little bit more powerful than a 1030, not by much, but you'll still see that we are still bottlenecked by the GPU. And the reason for that is because it is still underpowered for the size of the resolution that you're trying to push out, which is 3440 by 1440, which is ultra wide GHD screen. So we now know the percentage is coming down, but it's still quite heavily bottlenecked. So let's change the GPU one more time to say a RTX 2060 desktop uh, GPU. And again, it's gonna still be bottlenecked by 10.5%, but it has come down dramatically. And it's now saying that it's still too weak for the Intel Core i7. 14700F. Now this is where you have to use a bit of common sense. Now we know that it's not a super powerful GPU, but it's still a pretty decent GPU in 2024. You could still use that today and you should be perfectly fine. You might need to lower your settings down, but what I would advise you to do is lower the resolution down to something a little bit more manageable, like a 1080p uh, monitor which is a good gaming sort of resolution for most people. And again, as soon as you do that, you've alleviated that bottleneck and you can see they work in harmony together because there is no bottleneck anymore. And again, this is what you're trying to achieve. So the monitor plays a key part in what you're doing when you're picking and choosing parts. So be very careful. And if we drop down now to a 1050 Ti again with a 1080p, you can see we've now brought that bottleneck back up to 36.4, even though we've dropped the resolution down to 1920 by 1080. That's because the GPU is pretty underpowered uh, today uh, in 2024. So let's drop the CPU down to an i3 here. And what we'll do here is we'll have a 1080p monitor and we'll change the actual uh, GPU to a 1050 Ti here and we'll quickly do a search on that site. And you can now see that it's saying the GTX 1050 Ti is still too weak by 9.3%. And uh, this is where you'd use a bit of common sense. You might need to turn down your settings in games to make it more playable, to stop it being laggy and jerking and having uh, input lag and things like that. So now we can change the GPU and give it a 1060 uh, graphics card here and you can see straight away the bottleneck has now gone and this would be an ideal uh, gaming setup for someone because you're not getting any bottlenecks so having that monitor there is very important having the resolution uh, is very important and having the gpu to push that uh, monitor with the right type of gpu you need a decent powerful gpu to run 4k and 2k monitors today if you're using older graphics cards, then be very careful because it could impact your system quite a bit. Now, we've taken a look at the bottleneck for the GPU, but remember, it can also be a CPU bottleneck. And this is where you're using a very powerful graphics card and you're using a lower end CPU. And this is very common with these old Dell Optiplexes and old HP systems where you're using old surplus office PCs and trying to turn them into a gaming PC, you can end up with a CPU bottleneck and it can cause a fair bit of a problem. Now we have here an i3 14100F with an RX 7900 XTX 
and you can see already we've now got a CPU bottleneck and this is because the CPU is too weak to push that system with that graphics card in there being so powerful and this is basically what bottlenecks are. So in the case of a CPU bottleneck you'll also experience lower frame rates because your powerful GPU is being held back by how fast your CPU performs. So in addition you'll likely experience stuttering, frame drops, uh, long loading times and a host of other issues. Unfortunately, you can't simply lower the graphics card settings if your CPU can't handle a particular game. This is not going to help you so much. So it's important that you examine the uh, specifications of each component carefully before choosing those components because normally you can tell what will bottleneck the system by just looking at the specification sheets of those components. And if you pick all the right components together, you should have a nicely balanced system that is not going to bottleneck the computer via the CPU or the GPU. And remember, your monitor plays a key role in this as well. If you're running a 4K monitor with a lower end GPU, it's going to cause a few problems. So make sure you get a nice balanced system and you should have no issues with your computer at all. And if you need help with specking out PCs, then you can always join our Discord server and someone over there will help you specking out a PC so you don't end up with a major bottleneck problem. Now, if you're a beginner, those uh, websites that do bottleneck calculations can help you a little bit to find out roughly whether there is a major bottleneck problem with the parts that you're using. So hopefully this video has been some sort of use and helpful to you. If you are looking to build yourself a brand new PC, you can use that website or something like that, or even ask around on Reddit or other forums that will help you uh, choose the right parts for your next build. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.